but like the whole idea here is Forsaken Monument, Ugin. That's it. That's the whole spiel, <laughs> basically. We're going to try to ramp into Forsaken Monument with Palladium Mirror. And then we're going to try to Ugin. That's the deck. That's the whole thing. I mean, we got some creatures in here. We got Stone Coil. Stone Coil Steve Austin. We got Mecha Godzilla, which is much better than the actual name of this Crystalline Giant. <laughs> Palladium Mirror, I guess. It's not very good, but it's a creature. Uh, <laughs> Myriad Construct, I do want to test. Uh, Sad Robot's fine, I guess. So, you know, there's stuff in here. Um, as far as two drops go, Maze Mind Tome, draw into stuff, get lands if we need them. Sleeper Dart could kind of neutralize a creature, I guess, if it's already attacked us, but the draw card is the most important part. Spare Supplies, draws cards. You know, we needed two drops. So we got like 10 two drops plus Stone Coil Serpent. We should be okay. And then um, once we get past like three mana, we can do good stuff, hopefully, but I doubt it. <laughs> we'll have to see. I have not actually like played this deck at all. I just put it together last night. Let's just see what it does for a minute. <laughs> it's weird to see you walk and seeing you sit for years. Yeah, every time I get up, someone's like, legs. <laughs> Dev's got legs. What? Destructor converted from Prime Gaming into a tier one sub. Thank you very much. Wow, you used actual money to sub to me. That's amazing. <laughs> Bellicose Drake sub with the Prime. Thank you <laughs> very much. I love that name. <laughs> love to see colorless love. Well, we can stay in the game. For a few turns here, we got some radiant fountains. If it gets to it, maybe we can use these labyrinths. We'll see. Labyrinth is a card I'm like shamelessly kind of excited about for no reason. <laughs> I don't know that we'll ever have a reason to activate that card, but we'll see. Half expected you to be a centaur. Not gonna lie. I w actually I was gonna say I wish, but no. Being a centaur would probably suck <laughs> like a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and play Stone Coal here for Dose. You guys excited about Clash of Champions? <laughs> it's on Sunday. It doesn't feel like it's already on Sunday, but it is. I gotta do my Clash of Champions predictions. Maybe I'll do that before I get off stream tonight. It'll be like the last thing we do. Let's get in with, with Coily Boy here. We done did it. Gotta move the cat cam, don't I? Yep. Yep. Sorry, everybody. All right, we did it. <laughs> yeah, could we move the cat cam? Sorry. Yeah, I saw my phone go off. You know, like my phone, the light on my phone went off. So I was like, oh, Brittany must have just texted me to move the cat cam. And it turns out she did. So. Let's, uh, Som Sam? I think Som Sam is probably the right call this turn. You know, I don't have any flash stuff. Nah, you don't. You don't have any flash stuff. We're just playing against Somnath. So it's like we're playing in ranked. <laughs> Som Sam. Let's go get a swamp. That's another reason, by the way, that we need basics, just because we have Som Sam. So. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a swamp. Alright, uh, not the worst position, <laughs> honestly. It's ter not terrible. But here comes the boy. Let's hear it for the boy. Bum, bum. Gaining eight life. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna get some free mana. It's exactly how much mana it cost to cast him. So he just drew a card and gained four life for free. Put a 4-4 four, four out for nothing. That's a pretty good deal. You're gonna use it? Are you gonna be able to use it, my guy? Can you? Yeah, convert it to escape. Mm, what a deck. What a deck we're playing against. Woo! So good. Let's go, Ugin. It's not Ugin. <laughs> <laughs> Ugin was our only hope. They got an escape off their escape. Yo, dog. I heard you like to escape. Um, let's... Mecha God. And Palladium Mer. What you got, Ba? You got flying? Um, so, let's just get in with Solemn. <laughs> Yeah. No attacks. No, I was thinking about getting him with Solemn because it doesn't matter, but I'd rather, you know, try and take away their attack. If they do attack, we'll just block with Solemn, draw the card. All I'm trying to do is get a Nugan now, baby. That is it. <laughs> when we get a Nugan, we can win. That's all there is to it. Stonegoil is on blocks with protection. That is true. So what we can do is double block with Stone Coil and Solemn, and bam. If they're dumb enough to do it. 
Omnath isn't that broken. It's it's not, dude. It's like turn four. <laughs> her turn, yeah, it was turn four. They already had three lands in play and they hadn't ramped yet. And then they went and tapped carry added in three lands to play Locust. So, yeah, they turn four. And then they couldn't really do broken stuff. Like, they did broken stuff that turn, don't get me wrong. They played escape. But, like, all they really did off of it was play escape. It's like, eh, I'm just, it's not. Compared to other stuff, like, you know, Mono Red kills you on turn four. So, you know, <laughs> like, it's not that bad. Let's draw the card from Dart. If we're playing against Mono Red, we would literally be dead right now. <laughs> I really want to draw the card with Tome. What did you get? Hexproof? Wow, I got like the two best abilities it can get. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm doing it. It's like, I wonder if we can take a swing from a bunch of tokens this turn. Like, if they get Kenrith or something. Maybe they get um, Terror of the Peaks this turn. They probably would have played it first, though. Yeah, that's how ramp is supposed to be, though. Yeah. They spend, like, four turns doing nothing, and then they, they do everything for the rest of the game. <laughs> that's, that's ramp. Here comes a bunch of triggers. But, like, it's turn six. <laughs> like, it's... You should be doing good stuff by turn six. None of this bothers me. Because, like... At this point... Uh, we, gotta, we gotta follow here. From Kadeen76. Also, Coyote, you followed as well. I think I missed that. Unless I... Did I say it? I'm not sure. But either way, thank you. Also, Bellicose Drake with a prime sub. I think I saw that you followed but not subbed. Thank you, my friend. But at this point, like, here's the thing. In this matchup, if we, it really almost does not matter how they sequence their first five turns. If we don't get an Ugin, we lose. If we do get an Ugin, we win. That should be how this probably plays out. I mean, I'm not saying that we win guaranteed if we get the Ugin, but that's our one avenue to winning. So, I'm not really like, they get everything in the world on turn one, or turn four, or whatever, like, we lose. Sure. But we're still in a position where if we get Ugin, we can win the game. So, but if we don't get Ugin, we were never going to win the game to begin with, so... It's really our only chance. And it was from turn one. All depends on how long we have to draw the Yugen. And the deck definitely wants to draw the Yugen in the first six or seven turns. If we don't draw it this turn, there's a problem. But maybe they'll come in on attack so we can get rid of the Solemn Simulacrum. That'll draw us a card. We can draw a card EOT with um, Maze Mind Tome. So... I'm not super worried right now about these attacks. Now, if we don't draw a Nugent in these next three cards, I'm going to be terrified, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, you don't trample. You don't trample. So, we take no damage. We'll draw the card. Maybe we'll draw another Stone Coil and like hold off for a turn, but even then, we'd be in trouble. There it is. All right, everybody. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. The deck run four Ugin. Maybe it should. The deck runs three. I didn't want to get stuck with Ugins in my hand and stuff. That's no, no reason to have them. But uh, maybe the deck does need four Ugin if all it's trying to do is draw Ugin, right? There's a Godzilla. You have Field of Ruin. Let's play that. So how much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can play Godzilla first and then play Ugin. That's a thing to do, I suppose. Let's go! What you got? What you got for that? They do have like five cards in their hand. Really four, but actually really five because it's going to draw for their turn. So... Four is the magic number here? Yeah. They're going to hazard themselves. And then still we did it! We beat Omnath. Omnath is so broken! It's just the brokenest card! We did it, everybody. We did it. How many times, by the way, on stream have I said that Ugin is actually the card I'm most worried about in Standard? <laughs> I think we've 
<laughs> we didn't prove it outright. That's anecdotal for one game, right? But still, we did it. GG. We yeah, shield. We did it. <laughs> Instant concede. Oh snap. <laughs> Yeah, how you guys like that? How you guys like that? Uh, pretty terrible colorless deck. Just crushed the best deck in the format. We did it, everyone. Ban Ugin? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> man, dunking on all of us at once. Yeah, man. Told you, we, man, we had three chances to draw it. We had Maze Mind Tome plus our draw for the turn plus Solemn Simulacrum. If we didn't draw it, we were dead, right? <laughs> we were probably dead if we didn't draw it. But, like, we still had... um. We still had Labyrinth of Scophos to help protect us, take a creature out of combat. We had turn worth of blocks to make, and we had enough lands on the field to still draw Ugin and play it, so even if we'd have lost our mirrors. So like, we still might have had a turn. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, terrible hands, but I'll take it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I like Sir Dusk. If you did not draw Ugin, you lose. Yeah, I said that. Uh, the thing is, though, we did. <laughs> I mean, how many games can you say that in? All of them, right? Oh, if they didn't draw Omnath, they'd have lost. Yeah, that's how it works. You don't draw good cards, you lose. That's why you put good cards into your magic decks. <laughs> it's Radiant Fountain. And let's play the Stone Cold. Instant Concession, just add Hugin. That's how it works a lot. <laughs> oh, I've been ranking with your rogues list. Absolutely love it. Morris Code, thank you very much. Yeah, I like that deck a lot. <laughs> I like that deck a whole lot. I think we got it in the proper shape. Let's, uh, th Radiant Fountain number three here. <laughs> Gaining all the life we could ever want. I guess maybe we go ahead and Palladium Mirror here. I want a Mecha Godzilla. But I guess we... Let's see. It's four, five, we'll have six next turn if we play this. And we have to play the other Mirror to get to Ugin in time. Uh, I still think getting to Ugin is the, fast, the best thing we could be doing, especially against this aggro deck, so... Yeah... Yeah, just planning on taking some damage. It's aggro. I'm more scared of aggro than I am all math. Like, I really am. Here comes Bold Hound. Uh oh. Dogs are going to do it to us. These all have indestructibles. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll go down to 13. Oof. Oof. All right, let's do it. Winota Dogs? Yeah, I think it's probably Winota Dogs, too. Let's play Field. Man, we've gained six life this game. That's two euros worth of life gain, and we're still at 13. That's crazy. Well, you know, we haven't blocked yet, so that's what happens. Spare supplies. Our only goal is to draw Ugin right now. <laughs> even though I don't think we could even play it next turn. But, like, I thought about playing Palladium Mirror this turn. That way, if we do draw Ugin next turn, then we can play it. But I'm pretty sure we're done. Do you have... Oh, it's another Bolt Hound. That's game winning. <laughs> and a, oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> so nice, my guy. Wow. All right, so let's just prevent as much damage as possible because all these dudes have indestructible. So we take 10, go to 3. This is what I was saying. I'm so much more afraid of aggro. Making the dogs like deck look good. Deck looks so good. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. We're dead. So let's good game the opponent here. We're one and one. Uh, we won against the best deck in the format. We lost to a garbage aggro deck that no one's playing, but maybe you should. <laughs> dogs ain't half bad, y'all. I have advocated for dogs on more than one occasion. <laughs> People don't understand the difference between the feeling of losing and the feeling of being oppressed. The only feeling, the only thing that's ban worthy is Euro. Yeah, this Euro is an oppressive kind of card. It creates a, a too much value. Um, all at one time, you know. I think that Omnath really shouldn't draw a card when it comes into play, but I don't think it's an oppressive card, you know. Especially here at the beginning of the format, like, I'm sorry that you can't win, like, with a deck like this all the time. <laughs> like, like, your janky stuff that your 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 pet deck doesn't win. Like, Black White Clerics isn't very good right now. And, like, we should ban Euro because Bla Black White Clerics is terrible. <laughs> That's just what it sounds like to me. I'm not saying that's a guarantee, like, absolutely what's going on. But what does it feel that way sometimes? It's like, let the meta develop, stop playing with bad cards, and, like, maybe Euro won't be so bad. 
<laughs> but here we are playing with bad cards and we won. We won a game with some terrible cards. We're about to see if we can pull it off again, but I don't have anywhere near as much confidence in this game. <laughs> but we're back to another situation where, like, if they don't have Bone Crush over this Palladium Mirror and we draw an Ugin in the next couple of turns, we probably win. <laughs> you know, we just play this Forsaken Monument next turn and we can start doing cool stuff. Waker of Waves. Yeah, like, there, there's a... They both cheat mana. I saw somebody say that. Like, there's an, an argument for Forsaken Monument being banned, right? Like, but I wish... Honestly, I wish we didn't start on two swamps in Forsaken Monument. I wish we could tap more of our lands for double colorless right now. They banned Growth Spiral. Euro might be more broken than that. I was surprised they didn't ban Euro. I figured they would ban Euro instead of Growth Spiral, but... Again, I think there's some, some some selling packs to do here. So, you know. That's Bonder's Enclave. Now, we have six mana. I, we gotta play this Forsaken Monument, don't we? We just have to. I guess we'd always play a big Stone Coil as a blocker for, um, for Omnath. Because I imagine they get Omnath next turn. It's like no questions asked. Let's go for it. Because now we have six mana in our mana base. Just because of Monument. That makes eight... Nine, really? Yeah. So, let's go. <laughs> I like to judge a format based on how good Gruel is. It's pretty alright, so the format's alright. <laughs> That's an interesting take. <laughs> I wasn't saying Cobra and Omnath should be banned for cheating mana. I was just saying I don't think they're fair cards. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, I get that, too. Yeah, because not being fair, that's kind of what I was saying about Omnath earlier. Not being fair and being broken, two different things. Two different things. You know, like, Fires of Invention was broken. Fires of Invention was more broken than they intended it to be. So, I, I understood the Fires ban entirely. I'll understand the Omnath ban if it gets on, if it gets banned, but I'm like, I'm like 99% sure they won't ban Omnath, dude. It'll either be Cobra, which I will be extremely surprised. If they ban Cobra, I'll be surprised by that too, but they've done it. They banned rares, you know, first few weeks of the format. They banned Once Upon a Time, so. And they banned, you know, they banned a Mythic from the current set too, right? Like, they banned, um, they banned uh, Oko as well. Uh, but it took them a little bit longer to ban Oko, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got 11 mana. That means we could sacrifice the spare supplies. That would cost two. Uh, we still have nine. So, if we drew an Ugin, we could just play it. Now, if we don't draw a Nugan, we still have nine mana to cast the multiple Stone Coil Serpents if that's what we want to do. We could like Stone Coil on six and then Mecha Godzilla. We could do that. So, I like this. I like this idea. Radiant Fountain. Not good enough. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Gain the two. It's actually an 8 8. This stone coil. Maybe we'll just win the game off of massive stone coils. Maybe we can do that. We got a 5 5 Mecha Godzilla. Maybe it's not so bad, y'all. <laughs> Maybe it's not. What'd you get, buddy? What are you going to get? Trample. Oh, okay. Could be worse. When you free cast, you toss out the basic concept of the game. Play land, use land, cast spell. I can, I can honestly get down with that a little bit. It's very, it's a very simple take, but it's true. I mean, it's, it's kind of true. There's a simple, there's a truth in its simplicity. <laughs> what do we got here? Really, a lot hinges on these next couple of turns. Ultimatum's not good. Oh, it really didn't do a whole lot. I guess they drew a couple off of it, and they still have a bunch of mana. They'll have even more mana because they get four off the Somnath. I wonder if they can Ugin here. 
But Ugin is not good. Ugin's not a great card to, for them to play right now. If anything, this deck invalidates Ugin. That's there's something to be said for that, right? <laughs> Which 2021 set am I looking forward to the least? Mine is the Harry Potter set. Pizza Pie, I'm actually... This is, I don't know, this might be a bad take, but like... I'm actually looking forward to the Harry Potter set the most. <laughs> I I know, I know, I know. But it's, it's kind of like lame. It's a little cringe. But like the concept of like a magic school works so good as far as like designing magic cards. You know, like the design space I expect to be inherent in that idea is probably vast. And uh, they can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. So I think Strixhaven might actually be a super cool set. Um, this is also going to be a weird set. But... D <laughs> I think some mad pretty you've said the thing I was going to say um, unless you're actually saying the opposite of what I'm saying um, or you are looking forward to that the most okay mad pretty I had you wrong there at first yeah I'm kind of I'm kind of not looking forward to the D&D &D set that much I'm not I'm really not I'm hoping they don't screw it up <laughs> I really don't want them to screw it up I hope that this isn't like the one chance we ever ever get at a DD &D set and it's like not very good i just and i know that's that's doomer you know like that's so that's so cynical but i just i want it to be good like please let the beholder if they print a beholder let them print a beholder let it be good let them print a mind flayer and it actually be good you know let them represent the classes correctly like i just there's so much they could screw up about that set <laughs> there really is <laughs> Like, I don't know how I feel about Kaldheim. I want to I wanna like Kaldheim. I really do. It's just like, I'm not as excited about a Viking set as I was a few years ago. Because <laughs> I was. A few years ago, I was totally into a Viking set. But part of me thinks that a Viking set will kind of feel like alliances, and I don't know why. I, oh, there it is. There's the win, everybody. Whoops. Whoops. I guess we, I guess we just win the game now, huh, don't we? Do we just win now? High score, what does that mean? <laughs> I can't, I cannot believe that we're doing this. <laughs> is four the number again? Yes, four is the number. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. What a game. What a game. <laughs> we did it. Best deck in standard. <laughs> Woo! Win cube, the gifted sub. <laughs> man. Amazing. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Man, we're going to actually have to, like, tech this deck. <laughs> we have to put this on the YouTube channel, everyone. Cheesy, crazy cheese and crust. <laughs> Fumble X, Fumble SX. Or, excuse me, Fumbles X99. You follow it. That's got to be the way you say your name. Wow, GG, Zomnath players. So, uh, I guess this is the tech, right? <laughs> no, we haven't done Rakdos Party yet. <laughs> Oh, my hair, ah, my hair is poofy. My hair is so poofed up. That's so cute. <laughs> my wife was just telling me that my headphones have poofed my hair. Nice. Now we got the full Frasier. 